everybody, and I want to welcome everyone to this episode of The Booze Geek. My name is Chuck. I am your host. And before I get started, if you're all new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the episode, hit that like button as well. Give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate all the support. But on tap on this episode, we are going to be tasting and reviewing a relatively new beer from Sierra Nevada Brewing in Chico, California. So the beer we're reviewing well, this is part of their Little Things series of beers, and this series includes their Hazy Little Thing, their Big Little Thing, their Wild Little Thing, and I invite everyone to go check out my review of all those little things. Maybe I'll even post them down below in the comments, make it easier for you. But this beer, this is their Sunny Little Thing. So we'll add the Sunny Little Thing to that series. Uh, and it's perfect, just in time for summer, which is right around the corner. The Sunny Little Thing. So this beer, this is a citrus wheat ale. This beer clocks in at 5% ABV, and it's got a really, really low IBU of only 10, and it's made with crystal hops. Um, and also, uh, just on a side note, uh, in the kettle, they also have uh, fresh squeezed orange juice and grapefruit juice. So with all that, we're going to see how this uh, sunny little thing, uh, you know, how it turns out. So here we go. Let's crack it open. Why not? Boom, boom. Let's get the rays of sun shining. If I can, I can't get my fingernail under it. There it goes, I heard it. A tiny bit of smoke out of the can. Let's get a little pour here. Let's pour out that sunshine. And we're dripping a little, but that's okay. We'll clean that up later. Boom, boom, ooh, still dripping on me. Making a mess over here on this one. Well, the sunny little thing. Well, look at that color. That is a golden ray of sunshine. Yes, it is, it is a bright, bright yellow gold. And we have about eh, just over two finger veil of solid white carbonation on top. But uh, let's give this a swirl and uh, let's get those uh, rays of sunshine moving and uh, let's see how the sunny little thing does. Here we go. Let's give it a nose. Boom, boom. Oh, ooh, that is citrusy, all right. Yes, it is. We are getting some orange juice. We are getting some tangerine, some passion fruit. There's one more. Yeah, and there's definitely a tartness coming off the coming off the nose that's uh, mingling in with the other uh, uh, aromas in the bouquet. But let's uh, give this one more little swirl, and here we go. Let's give this a sippity sip. Prost, prost. The sunny little thing. Well, that is a light light body beer. Holy moly, is that a light body beer. But what are we getting on the flavor palette? Well, I mean, first and foremost, it's very citrusy. So we are definitely getting that orange juice is coming through. We are getting a little bit of that grapefruit. Some slight tangerine on this, some slight passion fruit on this. And it is, like I said, it is tart. It is, it was tart on the nose. It's definitely tart on the palate as well. Um, let me give me one little sip here. One more little sip here. I always say one more, but yeah, just one more. Hmm. Yeah, and rounding it out, there are some slight grassy notes and some slight hay notes on there. Um, but overall, really easy drinking beer. Um, you know, it has its issues. Uh, you know, I would give this on the pint of meter. I'm going to give this one... I'm going to give this one a seven. I'm going to give this a seven uh, because it is perfect. It's, it's a perfect summer drinking beer. I will say that. I mean, this is really light, really refreshing. Is it perfect? No. Uh, some of the issues I have with it. Um, I think the balance is off on the aromas. Definitely. Um, the, the orange, the, the orange, uh, the orange juice and the citrus kind of takes the cake and same on the palate. I kind of think they overdid it with the orange juice because um, it just, yeah, that's kind of, the orange juice is really taking over all the other citrus flavors. It would have been nice to have a little bit more of that passion fruit come through, a little bit more of that grapefruit come through, a little bit more of that tangerine, or even a little bit more of the hay. The, but the orange juice is like, get out of here. This is my turf. It's a sunshine citrus wheat, and I'm the orange. I'm the sun. Um, but yeah, but I said, it, it's got some balance issues, but it is, it is easy drinking. It's refreshing. So refreshing that I'm going to take one more sip. And I think everyone should go run out and uh, pick up a six pack and give it a try, especially uh, in a couple weeks when it is summer. 
But uh, yeah, it'll go really well at a barbecue. But on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. I want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode. And as always, you can follow me at the websites, www.pubsafeapplington.com or at the blog, which is www.pubsafeapplington.blogspot.com. And we will see you all in the next episode. So as always, raise a pint. Cheers. Prost. And enjoy.